Now I'm back to my 00, zero these are the exercises. If you had watched the previous video or if you had watched the, from how to draw, no, knowing how to draw circles, you can actually create this image. But let's see how to draw this. This is made up of one circle, which is easy enough to draw and several arcs. So how to draw arcs? Let's come here. Launching a second notebook in which it clearly says how to draw par an arc is just a partial ellipse. Okay. It's an ellipse which starts and ends at some specified points. And how do we specify this? As you can see, all of this is exactly the same as we saw for an ellipse. Angle is the same. This is the important part. Please pay attention. If you understand theta 1 and theta 2, you will understand how to draw arcs. Okay. So let me show you. Theta 1 is a starting angle and theta 2 is an ending angle to draw an arc. Okay. So let's see if we can draw all of this. Um, I'm going to go faster because it's just a repeat of what you've already seen. So let me comment all this out. So I'm going to draw one arc. Okay. Center is as we saw before, 1045. And the height is 10, uh, sorry, width is 10, height is 3. And then here is the 0, 0. Um, so the angle is 0, theta 1 is 0, and theta 2 is 360. So if you do 0 to 360, as you know, 360 degrees covers the entire uh, spectrum, uh, or the, it, puts, it creates one full circle. So when I draw this, I'll actually get a, ah, when you get that error, that means that I have not run this. This is a new notebook. So I have to run that uh, and make sure that it ran. Now I can run this. There, I've created one full ellipse. Why is it a full ellipse? Because we went from 360 to I'm going to draw a second one. Uh, this will go from 0 to only 350. Okay, so not 360. So I'm going to leave a small 10 degree gap. So you understand how theta 2 and theta 1 works. Nothing else has changed except that I brought the center down by 5 units. So you can actually watch. So see, these two are exactly the same ellipse. Here to here is 40 became uh, 45 became 40. But I don't even know if it is visible. But I have left a small gap here because it starts from 0 goes all the way up to 350 but not to 360. Now let's draw a couple more. Um, so in this case, again 1030 is fine. I'm uh, rotating the ellipse by 90 degree and still drawing the same 0 to 350 and I'm making it a black one. Okay, let's just make the line width 2 so you know. There. I have rotated it by 90 degrees and you can still see that but see what happened this is now this is 0 and this is 350 okay so the 0 and 350 is with respect to the base axis of the ellipse so this is a little tricky but if you think about it for a while you will get it you have to experiment you have to play around with it all of drawing and programming is simply trying many many times I had to do it myself to learn how to how all these things work this time I'm only go for, to go from 0 to 340 but my starting angle is 180, which means I really flipped the whole ellipse upside down. So when you draw it, watch what happens. See that last time here was the gap. Now the gap has gone here because this whole ellipse is rotated 180 degrees. And then there is a small gap. Uh, now in the interest of uh, time, I'm going to draw the next two ones. In this case, I'm going to draw, uh, okay, actually let me just draw one at a time because I want to show this. And I created this 1010. 10. Uh, this is all the same, but I'm going to go from 0 to 2, 180. So, which is half an ellipse in the, using the color blue. Okay. So, there. You see that? It's here. And then for in the exact same place, I'm going to draw a patch from 180 to 360. So, start from here and end it here. But this time, we'll do it using green color. And let's make a line with 2. So, you see this? It looks like one image, but it's actually I drew two arcs. Okay, so if you hopefully you will now try it out, uh, you will understand. Again, I repeat, you cannot break this. So try anything you want, and the worst case you have to re-download the notebook and start again. So it's perfectly fine. That's the only way to learn programming, and to have fun is to actually make mistakes and to learn from them. Then I wanted to give you one um, example. If you really want to do that tiling example, right? After you've created your uh, flower of life image. You will, you, can, you will have to create a function, okay? And that function will return the pattern itself. 
uh, I'm, I'm giving the axis so that it can draw on it. And then in this case, I'm drawing a bunch of ellipses, 0 to 360 in uh, 15 degree intervals. Okay, so this will be something like 24 ellipses. You can calculate it, 360 divided by 15. How many ever that number is? It's probably 24 or so. And see what I'm doing. I'm just only thing I'm changing is exact. Everything is exactly the same except I'm changing the angle. Angle is based on that. So you, this we have done before, figure axis, and then I'm going to uh, plot it here, call this, uh, this is called a spirograph, and then you have to do PLT equal to scaled, so that the x-axis and y-axis are scaled similarly, and when you draw it, you get this nice looking pattern, okay? If you notice closely, there are many, many, many ellipses here, you see that? If you do this, actually you can now, you really can go to town by experimenting, maybe let's change the height and see what happens, see? Hey, this looks uh, not too bad. Looks a little bit more like a donut. Uh, if you want it to be very dense, uh, I don't know what will happen, but uh, nothing is lost, right? So we can just say that, hey, in five degrees, there, this is truly a donut, or I guess you may know it as a torus or whatever you call it. Very nice looking shape. Uh, you can see how uh, you won't believe, right? We can't believe that this is made up of quite a number of ellipses. It's kind of difficult to see, but you can play around with colors and all that. Uh, what else can we do? You can actually change the, this may go crazy, but no harm, you can try anything. What if I change my x-axis for each ellipse as I'm drawing? I've not done this, uh, that didn't go very well, but still it's, it's creating something. Maybe I should create my y-axis also. Wow, look at that, some kind of a slinky object. I've never seen this before, this is the first time I'm trying it. But just to show you that you can create crazy effects just by trying let's put it back because i want you to have it the way i intended and maybe i'll even make it 15 so i will to leave it with okay so i'll stop here this was meant to show you that you can create one pattern and then you can call it over and over again uh, if i made a center of this uh, spiral as a, an argument right in this case the center is fixed this ellipse is always drawn at 10 10 you can change this and in which case you can draw the spiral over and over again okay so i want the students i want everybody to try it and if you struggle in another example i'll show you how i did it and then you can learn from it but you remember in programming you only learn by trying so please give it a try thank you and good luck